Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out on the Citadel. I know, you're surprised. Uh, we have been working here along the West Hill River on the East Bank, working on the marsh and the bridge. And so we're going to pick up right where we left off last time. Because I think I still have all of the things in my inventory. Cosmic Obu, good to see you. Sweet Sandy, Kelberty, the regular crew. <laughs> Sandy's like, West Hill? Never heard of it before. Not like you've been working on this area for three years, Joel. That's not a thing. I like this bridge a lot. Uh, the screenshots that I shared on Twitter uh, yesterday and, and just now, actually. So if you go to twitter.com slash Joel Duggan, you want to share the stream around. Um, I really like the way that this turned out. Really like the way that it turned out. Uh, so we're going to pick up where we left off, and we were working on the um, drain or I guess little stream from the marshlands down into here. And the first thing I need to change is some of this. I think it's a little bit too high. Uh, actually, maybe we'll do that there. Yeah, I think we'll just probably just make this all moss. Keep it simple. Uh, there's probably going to be some bushes there. Put the moss over here. I should probably check to see don't think I need all those buckets. Get some inventory stuff going on. Grab one anyway. More moss. Gonna be all over here, I think. And I need to put this down. Uh, Keith's Egg just listened to the last Spawn Chunks episode on a drive today. Thought I would actually come see Westall. Very cool. Well, thanks very much for listening and thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't need all of this grass. Need that gravel, coarse dirt. All right, I need to rearrange these because I am confusing even myself. Coarse dirt, regular dirt, that's moss, so we'll do grass, moss. I try to put these things in order whenever I do it so that because we don't have different shades of brown to separate the different blocks, you kind of have to um, keep them in the same order whenever you place them down. Otherwise, you're just constantly hunting for stuff. Uh, so that's mangrove leaves, azalea, green bin, bushel box. What's in that? Right, so we'll do bushel box, azalea, mangrove, and then that. I don't need the lantern. Uh, we'll need roots. Mangrove roots. I don't think we're going to need mud. Might as well grab some, I guess. Molkoid and Calf's Egg. Thanks for the follows. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Uh, question not related to Minecraft in the slightest. When does the time change thing happen for you? I am pretty sure it's next Saturday. But I think Britain happens this weekend. Because I think Johnny and I have to discuss the timing for the podcast on Monday. Uh, time change in Canada. 2023. Yeah, Saturday. Well, technically it's Sunday, November 5th at like 2 a.m. So Sunday, November 5th, 2 a.m. Uh, we'll go back to Atlantic Daylight Savings Time instead of... Um, no, we'll be on Standard Time. We'll go back to Standard Time. We're on sa Daylight Savings Time now. I The whole thing is useless anyway. It would be weird at first if we didn't bother, but I think everybody would get used to it. Yeah, it's happening in the... Uh, it did it happen. You're, I'm an hour earlier today for people overseas, <laughs> I guess. Uh, as far as I can tell, we are not changing the time for me on Monday's podcast, but we would be changing the time um, for Johnny. So people in the UK, I think the Spawn Chunks is going to record earlier, but I think for me and for the rest of North America, it's going to be recording at the same time tomorrow. Uh, I I think I might have to chop this and see if we can fill that space. But if I put that back, I think it's going to dry up again. Yeah. So the thing to do there is probably going to be to remove this. <clears throat> and along here I think in some places we're going to be putting in some slabs I think that looks okay. Uh, hmm. I like that being blue, but I don't like the way that that looks. Maybe we can take that out. It creates a really straight line here. I wonder if I could waterlog a bush here and have that look okay. I don't know if that's going to change the way that the water flows. That did exactly what I wanted it to. Perfect. Now here, I actually think that would look good if it was a rock. go get some slabs I actually might need to go refresh my memory here I've got this other little stream here. Tough. That's another thing I should put in there. 
tough in some deep slate, actually. Yeah, a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Okay. Tough in deep slate. And I should probably get some slabs. We don't have tough slabs yet, but we will. True purple, hey, good to see you. Uh, controversial opinion, I don't mind daylight savings time. It's kind of worth it for that extra hour in bed in winter time. <laughs> I don't know that people that have to get up at a specific time get an extra hour in bed. I don't care either way uh, in terms of the my day to day. The thing that drives me nuts is all the explaining to an international audience when not all countries <laughs> do it the same. That's the thing that drives me nuts. It's it's got little to do with um like my personal experience. Although I I don't mind if it's dark in the morning. I I would much prefer it to be lighter later in the evening. Um and something a friend of mine pointed out which I I didn't consider uh is that um as a woman, she likes it better if it's lighter later at night because it's safer, you know, which makes sense. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to cut some of this down. This is sticking out too much, I think. Uh, then we've got this other flow. I'm trying to figure out how to get this to flow the right way. Um, if I just add a bucket of water in there, now that this is all flowing, when you add a full bucket, it only ever flows to the lowest point. That still feels kind of strange, doesn't it? Hey, Miss Krugan, how's it going? Uh, Farmer Man, welcome back. I feel like, unfortunately, we're going to need to um, come up here a lot to see what's up. I like the rock. That feels a little bit weird. Section right there. I did have slabs. This is where I wish we had grass slabs.
Yeah, that doesn't look right. Okay, uh, how... Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah, it's weird that it flows up. May have just screwed that up. Uh, um, I like most of what's going on. Yeah, it feels kind of strange here. Maybe this needs to get wider. Oh, water physics in Minecraft. For my time specifically, Joel, uh, is always at 11 p.m. Sooner or later, it will be 10 p.m. If I had, <laughs> if I did my maths right, yeah. So I like the way that it gets narrower, but I don't like the way that it's currently fanning out. It Like, this doesn't make any sense that it's flowing from over there, you know? Maybe what I need to do is move that rock to be in the middle and have some water come down that way, maybe. Let's try that. So remove that. Uh, we've removed this and that. And we lost this stuff briefly. So we're kind of cheating a little bit. Jimmy D, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. So it's good, it's just a little square. Okay. Maybe can I put you there? No. Why is that? Blowing the wrong way. So annoying.
So again, still feels kind of strange. I wonder if what I need to do is make that a slab and then put something like that there. Still flows the wrong way. Makes a little bit more sense. Maybe we can make it look like this rock has been eroded in two. Oh, no, not what I wanted to do. Not bad. I think we just have to come back through here and maybe throw in some blocks. That's a little dark. Oh, what if we did... This might work. This might be a bad idea. That's good. I just need to change what's underneath it. I think that's waterlogged. And I think we can maybe fit in a little bit of mud along the bottom. Oh, starting to lose the daylight. I'm going to have to move this shulker set up again when I go to do this cliff. Uh, do you think Mojang would ever change Minecraft's water physics drastically for them to make more sense or would they worry that it would break a lot of things? Um, I don't know. They changed water a little bit in 113. And granted that was five years ago. It's not like it was recent. Uh, I don't know what they would change it to. I think the thing that they've done recently where we can change the way that lava works is a good change because then it makes it like you could you can change the settings to have the lava flow and work a lot more like water, which I think is more consistent. I wonder, probably wouldn't be anything overhanging there.
What phone do I have? I've got an iPhone 13 mini. I'm not a phone head. iPhone 15 is whatever is next. I never really bother to look at them until I'm in need of a new one. And why does it matter? <laughs> like... Jason, Jason Goal? Oh, yeah, it's an L. Welcome in. All right, that I think is going to be Bush all the way up to the top here. Zombie is either back or still there. can't really see it too much from here anyway. I might make that a fern. When the fern, when the, the placement of the vegetation is like right in the middle of the block like that, I like to try to make it a fern. It's usually a good decision. I feel like I want something here to overhang a bit. I'm not quite sure. Mm, no, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Uh, I don't exactly want to do there. Maybe this should be the moss instead. Oh, maybe that's not what I wanted to do there. Oh no, that's fine. Oops. Yeah, I play uh, Forza Horizon 5 on the Xbox. It's fun. It's a beautiful game. I'm not very good at it. I usually just drive around to relax. There's something about moving through space in that game, and I've got a really big TV, so... It looks very pretty on a 55-inch 4K TV. I don't remember, did I have more grass somewhere? 
Or was I just running around and chopping stuff down? Thought I had more over here, maybe. Ah, that's why I wasn't running around and doing stuff. That's good. Squeal it, thank you. Yeah, I really like the way that the bridge came out too. Uh, I'll put some of these in here. Uh, pervasive tech further up wanted to know are you still planning a sci-fi build after whistle uh yeah yeah i don't know when it's going to start i i want to give myself some time between this project and the sci-fi build would be a another big project and there's a lot of little things around the server that i want to do i think we can have some fun fighting the dragon and going to look for some shulker boxes i think we could have some fun uh working on the nether hub like just take a tunnel you know do it um alistair needs some help with some paths although <laughs> i've been doing a lot of path work here uh and then cosmic wanted help with a mob farm so there's a bunch of stuff that i'd like to do i'm definitely in the mood to do some technical things um so that's probably happening so i think this whole cliff is just going to get shaved back a bit here That almost smooths it out. Yep, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I think that it's also, you know, the satisfaction of checking something off and having something be finished. And to go from finishing something to being miles and miles and miles from finishing something, I think I'd prefer to just um, have something done for change. I could remember that not many people are going to be seeing this hillside, so I'm trying not to spend too much time on it. When you say sci-fi, you're thinking exclusively Star Trek and Star Wars, or would you be pulling from other sources like Farscape video games? Uh, sci-fi would be just like a general vibe. Kind of anything would go. I would not want to be copying anything. You're not going to see me building an X-Wing or anything like that. Um, I just want to go for the vibe. Uh, and I think the idea behind the sci-fi thing is that Rather than building like this and having to hide like redstone farms underneath things and trying to keep everything thematic, um, I would be able to do technical stuff and then just like, it could just look like a series of tubes if I wanted it to, you know, like it just, it wouldn't really need to be something overly um, complicated to be hidden. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of something like the Jetsons. Marvin the Martian, like uh, 50s sci-fi vibes, something like that. Just kind of like a, you know, no, I wouldn't do it in the end. Um, I think my plan for sci-fi is going to be on a Mushroom Island. 
because I want to limit spawns as easily as I can. So I think we're going to put uh, some heavy foliage along this, this ridge like we did before. So I don't want to get too carried away with the custom stuff on the edge. I think we're about there. I do want to poke in a couple of bushes. Oops, missed. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Although, we'll keep some of it. I think some of this is going to need to be... Get... Out of here. can't take water from seagrass. Dan's Bunny, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right. I think we can probably put in some mangrove roots down here. And maybe these could be slabs. Probably replace this with mud. This may or may not be a good thing. Oh, it's fine. I don't think we've messed anything up. I think that probably looks natural. This maybe needs to have something underneath it. I like how tough kind of looks like wet andesite. It's a little bit more uniform than I was expecting it to be. Still looks okay though.
So one of the things I think about just in terms of, you know, practicality is that there wouldn't, wouldn't be like a ton of light getting down here. So the grass wouldn't be super long. So even here, you know, by keeping the grass to the edge where the light would just kind of come in and get to about there, it helps it feel a little bit more realistic and obviously just kind of helps you inform like rather than just spamming stuff everywhere with no rhyme or reason i feel like if you have those kind of i guess thought processes behind what you're doing then it tends to create some logic to what you're doing which seems tedious but at the same time can really help sell the realism of certain things even though it's a super cartoony game Plus, I just find it fun. I feel like that is going to have to change. Yeah, missing some stuff here. And of course, the challenge of doing all this kind of stuff in the round is that it takes a long time. We have to think while we build, says Cosmic. Yeah, I know. Not what you wanted to hear. Well, that doesn't look good. Maybe up here. There we go. So what I try to do when I transition from using all this moss back into using grass is I try to do like little steps where you can still see bits of dirt. So it gradually transitions. So it doesn't look like a big straight line of, of moss. Ooh, that was a bad call. Where is that zombie? Down here somewhere. There you are. Let's get rid of him. Geez, there's even a torch down here. What I should do is leave the water in here. And it'll probably, it'll probably keep the, the mobs from coming back up to the surface. Whoa, speaking of mobs. Oh, jeez. That was close. I had to give you a follow because I love the podcast. First time watching the stream. Thanks very much. I'm glad uh, glad you like both. All right. I need a bucket of water. Get 
two. And we'll just flood this space. And now if I block this, then that should mean So hopefully that'll keep the mobs from coming up to the surface again. My inventory is full of crap. Uh, that goes there and Think we keep the string in here? Oh, it's full. God, didn't want both of those. Yeah, this is not a safe place at night, that's for sure. Hey, there's the mighty Elkhorn. How's it going? Thanks for the shout out for Elkhorn in chat. Folks, if you want to go follow Elkhorn on Twitch, it plays on my Infinity Cove patron server, which supports me as a creator and provides a really creative, fun space for like-minded folks to play some Minecraft. I feel like I need a little bit more brown happening up here. I wonder if I can waterlog. If I put this here. No, it's not what I wanted it to do. Uh. How about now? Hmm, that didn't work either. Oh, Elkhorn sub too. Thank you, Cosmic. I did not catch that. Uh, 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancers has entered the second month. Thanks ever so much. So it wasn't Elkhorn that brought the present. It's a gift sub. Cosmic is just as confused as I am. Either way, I very much appreciate both Cosmic giving Elkhorn the gift sub and Elkhorn giving a shout out. Appreciate the support. I don't like what I did there. Sometimes you just need to know when to walk away. Maybe we could have something here. Yeah, that helps a little bit. That feels a little bit strange as well. Maybe there is where we can have another bush. This may or may not look good.
Yeah, I think that works. Whoops. All right, sort of bouncing around all over the place just as I see little things that need a touch here and there. Yeah, I think that works. Work our way up the hill. I think I might actually make this into a bush and then I actually have some mossy cobble here. I think it would be cool to have this be a bush because then you'll be able to see through it a little bit. I don't have any mossy bricks though. I feel like we've made a decent amount of progress. I mean, it's nice that when I came back, I could just jump right into the project. I didn't have any setup or anything else to do. That part was fun. Yeah, you see how by removing that and making it a bush, it allows you to see more of what's happening. So there's a little bit more of a, I'm walking along the road here and then there's like, oh, actually you should maybe look down there and see the cool thing that Joel built. My goal in this area is basically to have people that come through here, have their head on a swivel and just be like, I don't know what to, <laughs> like, I want to be able to focus people and say like, okay, well, that's obviously very special. I should look at that. That's very cool. But then at the same time, I, I constantly want to be less like, well, now that I'm done looking at that, ooh, look, shiny wheat field. Look, let's look over here. You know, and that helps highlight that in the distance. There's all kinds of different stuff that the layers, the layers of manipulation. Hopefully in a fun way. <laughs> Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. I think we're doing pretty well. We'll walk over through here just because I think there's a few new people in the chat. So uh, I do take a break about once an hour. Step away, refresh my drink. I'm going to make a cup of coffee, I think. And... Uh, gives me a chance to stretch gives you a chance to grab a snack maybe tell a friend um i uh i often will fly back here but because there's some new people you'll get to see a little bit more of west hill as i walk around from place to place and uh eventually i end up walking through the, the whole place just if you hang out long enough cool i will be back in about five or six minutes
going on game. There we go. Where is the monster? Oh, it's right outside. Do you actually run away? I didn't think you ran away. Red Moon, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Lots of skeletons. They're just going to fight one another. This feels very plain. I have not, no idea what I'm going to do along here at all. We've got that rock face down there, but beyond that, I'm not entirely sure. All right, I'm pretty happy with this, except for it feels a little, maybe a little bit square down there. So I might add another waterlogged bush right here. Maybe another one back here. Just as this never-ending sprawl, once you start, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to dial it back. Where's the moss carpet? Here we go. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that helped the bottom a bit, didn't it? I think we might need to have a little bit of water here. So it looks like it fans out a bit. I really wish we could do uh, seagrass that would poke through the surface of the water like that on a one high little block. I think that would help a lot. Yeah, I just need a little bit more moss through here. Maybe an extra bush. And some grass down there maybe. Actually, maybe I can turn this into that. Oh, we're out of grass. Yeah, you know, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna throw in some extra grass along here.
Uh, welcome in, folks. Good to see you, Shanks. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, something that I try to do when I know I've got a specific feature that I want to have uh, and then uh, a place where there's essentially nothing of interest, uh, I, I try to do the thing of interest first uh, and then fill in the rest. So we'll probably customize this cliff and then we'll fill in that gap and then we'll fill in ga that gap later. Right now, what I want to do, I think, is start going back the other way here and just double check this cliff and fill this in here. Uh, and I think the technique here is going to be the same as we did on the bank of the marsh, where I just, it takes a minute, but if I go through and do something like that, I think it will look okay. Uh, I am curious, though. I want to see if I can set something up here. Uh, let's grab redstone just for fun. Dropper. Do I have any dispensers? I don't think so. I th think I can craft those. Well, maybe I don't need a dispenser. I can just use my shears. That's fine. All right, let's just get... Um, no, I would still need at least one dispenser. I should have sticks here somewhere. I think I have the data pack that lets us turn droppers into dispensers with just a bow. Maybe I don't. thought I added that, but maybe I didn't. Uh, that's right. So what I want to do is dispenser, bone meal, you know what, let's just use all of it. See if I remember how to do this. Uh, I don't want it to be moss. It needs to be grass. This is not going to work on. Uh, it might work. wrong way that's fine it just depends on whether it goes into my offhand or not. Uh, 
It's working. Uh, Amber Girl, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Charlie Mudkip, you heard the dispenser going, you thought your farm was going? Yeah. I had that problem the other day. I raided Slice Lime yesterday, and uh, I uh, he had creepers going on, and I I was in my game taking screenshots, and every time a, a creeper fuse went off, even though I was flying around taking screenshots when I was AFK, my brain just went, oh god, <laughs> like, what's going on? So it's not that fast. I guess if you get the rhythm down. It's not very good visually because you have to be so close to it, right? That should help. Okay. Whoops, forgot to put the redstone away. I think I'm going to need any, uh, I think I might need a little bit of moss. Yeah, I would never, I wouldn't want to have alerts. I mean, all the power to tadpole, but I, I couldn't do, uh, having alerts in my channel like that. That would, it would drive me crazy, but also it would freak me out in game. Like I'd be constantly thinking that it was something. Something else. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. I don't think we're gonna do a lot of um a lot of like double high stuff, but one thing I wanna try is maybe have a little bit more of a gradual change into the moss. Or from the moss, I guess, into the regular stuff. And in some cases, we could even have a bush. The river is obviously pretty bare too. I think that does pretty well. We'll do the same thing over here. Although we've already sort of started it.
And I find that this will just kind of help with like, these aren't important. They're just, they do look really gross though. It'll be nice to have them look at least like I haven't forgot about them. I think that's the thing that I don't like about the native Minecraft world gen when you've got, you know, these weird rolling hills. That actually works pretty well. Um, is that when you compare it to something where you spent a lot of time making something look really cool, then they look really forgotten about, like a mistake. Yeah, and then when I get up here, I'm going to have to remove these shulkers and move things around. But all right, at that point, I think what we can do is just start to come in here and gradually create more kind of density. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the thumping, but like my neighbor is doing something. I feel like they're moving furniture. <laughs> It's like shaking my studio. Hopefully it's not coming through on the microphone. Oops. And once we get to about here, I think it'll end up being just about every block. Ah, uh, that's a mistake, but do I like it? You know, that could be an interesting way to kind of make that feel more unique. It's, thankfully, it's a small cliff. It's not going to take too long. See if I missed any spots. Usually I do. I think I did okay. I don't know whether to make that high or whether to just leave it like that. Oh, I need to add more over here, I guess. Yeah, maybe we'll start hitting you back here.
Maybe we'll do a mix. Maybe we'll try not to do the ones on the front. Maybe just ones farther back. Couple places. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing now. Scotsman UK, good to see you. I think that's pretty good. That's a decent mix. Might have to throw in one or two tall grass over here. I guess the real place to look at it is from the road. Yeah, I like the little addition down there. Although I might try to see what other, what other blocks would look good down there. Maybe some rooted dirt. I feel like there could be just a little bit more. Where, where else have I done that color? A little bit there. I feel like I've done more over here, but I know it's not finished, so it's probably not the best. Just a mix of coarse dirt, but that's got a thicker, um, I guess, area. Right. Hmm. Brown mushroom block, maybe? Might be the wrong texture. None of them are as light as this stuff. Oh, I think that works pretty good. Hmm, maybe. I think that works better. Just to say that it's not all the same boring sort of look. Cool. You're in my shot. Yeah, so I'm just going to move the shulker boxes. I don't know where I'm going to move this little construction island to. I actually haven't thought about what we're going to be doing next. Well, step one, empty the inventory.
Uh, I don't know why I have two stacks of seagrass. That gravel is there. Maybe I'll put that in there for now. Oh, still have a dispenser on me. Oh. Uh, doesn't fit. Well, I guess it just stays. Goes into the junk. We'll sort that out later. of all these and where are we going to move all this to so the area over here that's left is this cliff and then these two little spots here I'm just trying to debate if I want to do that today or if I want to try something else on the list. Either way, I would say we probably would want to bring our little shulker island back somewhere over here, although that hasn't been textured either. I mean, I guess I could just put it in the middle of the road. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Well, I guess I should decide what I'm going to do next. So, uh, we're done with the marsh, right? So we're not done completely with the East Farm Road landscaping. East Farm Road marsh, that's done. That is completed. Let's just change that to East Road Marsh so it's one line. West Hill Riverscaping. River. Oops. Oh, that's annoying. Why does that go? Oh, that's weird. Uh, wheat farm interior, main north road crossroad signs, swampy area at the base of the northern wall. I'm going to put a little space in here. I can tell the sun's going down. I'm going to go I'm going to go somewhere where I'm not going to get blown up while I'm reading a book.
Thanks, Cosmic. Glad you like it. Glad you like it. Okay. So this is all stuff in the keep. Main hall decor, main mezzanine. So this all stuff has to be done at the end. Or I have to at least update the data pack. I'm not going to do live on stream. That's actually all finished. I wonder if it's worth just removing that page. Those are all tables and chairs fixes. Honestly, that list is just going to be reduced down to one bullet of, of fix all of the tables and chairs because they're all going to break when we update the pack. Uh, North Road and Crossroads. Northern Farms West Riverscape. Northern Farms West. I don't know what that means. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I do. Okay. I feel like I'm spilling a lot of my to-do list out into the valley, which wasn't really part of the plan. East Bridge Road. I feel like we did that. Oh, no. I know which I know what that is. What I th should do is have this be a little bit more organized. Um, I think I can just remove these just to kind of give me some room. Maybe I can just copy paste them somewhere. So there's still the East River and Wharf. There's the texture and dress the East Road. So I, I want to give this like a crossroads, almost like heading because that's this space right here. And so basically we've got the North Road west east goes down this way but it continues south right through the town uh actually goes out this way uh yeah there's a couple of places where it sh shifts i think this the plan here was to have this connect at some point but i don't want to end up doing like all of this as like a before West Hill is finished, like I, he like this area here is what I need to to focus on. So we could flood we could flood the the front there. That would be an easy thing to to start, I guess. While we're in uh, Marsh Brain, because <laughs> we've just done it. I'm not sure whether that would be boring to continue to do the same thing, or whether it would be probably efficient. So this is a separate thing. So here I think what I'll do is just say North Road East Road. Uh, East Farm Road. That, I don't know if that's that's not done, I don't think. But that's on the next page, I think. East Fried Road Landscaping. Texture. Oops. So that's the same as the other one. Uh, 
East River and Wharf. Right, that's a separate thing. Northern Farms. Okay. And then this would have West Road. And I think the South Road is done. Don't really remember. Let's go look. Yeah, scope creep is a problem, Scotsman. I'm sure that you, you're you aware of all that stuff. Uh, let's walk this way. Oh, hi, creeper. Let's walk this way. So a lot of the stuff inside the town is done. You know, like a lot of these buildings are finished. Uh, the only thing that's missing in is, is like the keep. Or in a lot of places, I think we now have tables and chairs that don't that don't show up. So like if I go in here, yeah, all the table and chair data pack stuff is all busted. So that's really annoying. Because I don't remember what they look like. I don't remember how I place the chairs. I'm really not a fan of how that's all come to be. Uh, yeah, this is done. Okay, cool. Well, done-ish. I guess I should still put it in the book. We'll call it South. South Road to Gate? Sure. That kind of gives a good flag for here. We've got the south road to the gate. We've got the east road to the bridge. We've got the north road, which is pretty self-explanatory, and the west road. And thankfully, this is not long. This is just a straight. It just needs texture up to the bridge, because I think after this, well, no, now it goes to flat. That's fine. Uh, this just needs to be kind of all put into a final bit. I just, that's a, a last minute thing. Yeah, this would be the more important thing. And I don't know how far I want the the stone to go. I feel like I just need to do a better job transitioning this uh, into more cobblestone. I'm not sure where it would make sense for this to turn into a dirt road. Certainly before here, but I just, I don't know where along there, like where along here would make sense. Maybe maybe it would be a lot closer. I don't know. We could change it into a different texture as well. Uh, I'm also thinking about putting something here. Maybe like another in. There needs to be something, I think, here. Because it'll help fill in this space. And... I guess we'll call it the West Hill River Inn. So the Northern Farms and West Riverscape. Uh, West River. That is this stuff over here. Like this is all weird. They've got the nice curve there, but all this is a mess and all of this needs to get fixed up. Um, Think this is all done well this part is this lower part uh, but obviously not this stuff here you can usually tell because you can see the seagrass if i've gone through with the bone meal and added the seagrass then it's usually something that looks pretty good so you can see like in here we've got all the rivers are done just with rocks and seagrass and then in here they've been shaped but there's not there's no um real final bits you can see some parts right where we've done the wheat field and where we've just done the marsh here, you know. Yeah, I'm really not happy with the way that this curves. I think if we had some sort of building here and we had the road kind of hug the building and do something more interesting, I think this could be a lot lot nicer. I think a nice S-curve here would be better. This is far too straight for too long. So I'll need to fix that. Still don't know what to do with that space either. OK, 
Okay. Swampy area at the base of the north wall. Uh, let's switch that. We now know it's going to be a marshy area. Technical difference. This is part of the crossroads. And it doesn't fit. Wheat farm mill interior. East farm road landscaping texture. Right, we're keeping that because we removed the one from over there and West Hill Riverscaping. Okay. And that's just like to make sure that you do all the river edges and stuff like that. Okay. We, we don't have as much left as I thought. Don't have as much left as I thought. Stick a tree in there and call it a swamp. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So I think for fun, just to kind of get my brain around things here, I'm going to... I don't think I should leave this area. I think we should probably try to finish up this side. So this is the part of the build where you're now you're down to the things that you have to do instead of just the things that you want to do. And so it becomes a little bit of work. Uh, I can put that away. I'm just going to use a nice big section here. Right, we've got dirt, grass, horse dirt. Mud. And then we've got moss. Actually, yeah, that's right. Find the bone meal. Don't know if I need the iron box, actually. Somewhere there is cobblestone. Got deep slate. Uh, I might actually put that back here. Uh, those flowers. And then wood and stuff can just be over here, I guess. Very seldom we need this stuff, but it does come up from time to time. Three years, yep. Yep, November 4th, 2020 is when I believe we broke ground on that farm. 
Um, technically, I think this came in October, but but this started here in November. And I think it was somewhere in December that we actually started the town because we started with the main gate. Uh, I guess we'll go here with that. Yep, so now we just need to uh, do a little bit of work up there and that'll be this whole thing Complete, I think, right from bridge to bridge, right? Yeah. From, some, from Stone Bridge all the way along to there, once we finish that. Just a little bit of grass, we should be good. So the only thing I do in these places is just have like a little bit of variety. Um, oh, speaking of, I guess I should get concrete powder. So just in places like this, because it is fairly flat, pop in some slight color variations. And then down here, this is going to be a matter of putting in a couple of basic bushes, just like up there. And I think the thing to do is just kind of like look and see where you'd want one. I'd say probably like right there. I think about this in the same way that I would draw, you know. And it just kind of helps make it look like it's less forgotten about. There's just a lot of backing up and looking, double checking things. The only thing that's tricky about the concrete, of course, is that you can't put grass on top of it.
Hey, Alistair McFly, how's it going? Hey, Madcast is online too. Rocking the gold hat. Uh, oh, helmet, yeah. Just nether, you have to deal with piglins. I don't want to wear it, but it's easier this way. The odd time that I go to the nether. I think it has all the like, yeah, like I've got respiration, mending, and aqua affinity on it. It's, just, it's kind of like my go to. <laughs> I think we're going to put another bush over here. Maybe not there. It's coming along, just a little bit more grass maybe out front. Yeah, pretty good. If anything, now the top feels a little bit too barren. But that's where we had all of our shulker boxes, so we don't have any uh, grass put in here yet. I feel like I tried that before. I guess we'll just add some extra stuff in the ground as opposed to on top of it. Out of grass. Uh, I did. Thank you. Yes, Cosmic. I'll wrap this part up. Uh, so basically when I'm walking along here, I just notice that there's like this really empty spot. And so we just throw in like one there, maybe like a couple there. That'll hopefully fill it in a little bit.
Yeah, and then just a little bit more over the side. Okay, time to walk away from that. But I think done. I think that's sorted. I should put this in the landscaping box somewhere. Or actually, I should put it in the moss box. That makes more sense. Get rid of those. All right, I need to take another break. For folks that are new to the channel, I do this about once an hour, step away, give myself a little bit of a breather, and then we come back and uh, I guess we'll just continue on with that clip and see what we can do with some customizing along the river. Back in just a few minutes.
right, I guess we have to go in and sort out the cliff. Be the next thing. Be a change of block palette anyway, so we'll be working with some grays and things like that. I would carry a sword and a bow and arrow if it didn't take up so much inventory space all the time. All right, so I'm going to want... I don't know about cobble. Definitely going to need some tough. Probably more than that. Uh, definitely going to need some andesite. Andesite slabs. Stone stairs slabs. And we might need gravel. And stairs for that as well. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any um, slabs and stairs in tough yet. They will exist at some point in the future. So I want to customize this rock. I want to have a little bit more of a cliff here. Uh, and... Like, this is pretty good. I just need some smoothing out. Obviously, I've not used any slabs or stairs here at all. So that's going to change. And I think we're going to get it to be a little bit darker through here. Uh, but you can sort of see what I was going for with some andesite along the bottom. Uh, it'll be similar to this kind of a thing with andesite at the base. So uh, maybe I will get some cobble now that I look at that. Uh, the other place that we've done something like this is over here. We've done a cliff just past the west gate. We've done something like this here. That's one way to do it. And the other one is over by the west bridge. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Okay. And then the other one is over this way. Much larger, obviously. And more effective with a big bush on top of it, which I don't think we're going to be doing at the other spot. Yeah, I'll go get some cobble. Welcome in, Cisco. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, cobblestone. Yeah, so I think in places like this, we can just start with bringing in Stuff like that. But I definitely want to go dark along here if I can. And probably more than that now that I see it. I think the first time here I didn't have all the blocks on me that I wanted. And 
in some cases it's better to go steeper into the water when you have cliffs like this and i don't know whether this reads as lighter or darker oh definitely lighter okay we might have to get some deep slate I mean, it looks good underwater, but really you got to think about what it just looks like from the other side, right? But I think that's effective. You can see what, what it's starting to, to do. So that's where it would be nice to have some uh, some slabs and stairs in tough. But we do have slabs in coarse dirt, so. We can maybe figure something out here. Oh, the river's not even done here. Whoops. Did I bring a bucket? I did. That was it. Missing one. Oh, that should be maybe cobblestone. And then the rest of this we can put in into site, probably nearly up to the top. That's not what I want. Actually, that would probably be better off as cobble. Don't need either of those there. I find, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I find that if you break the grid in Minecraft a bit, it goes a long way to creating some unique shapes. We've already got something kind of cool going on here. That might even be better off as slabs. Yep, not bad. I think maybe we'll just bump this up a bit. I 
Squeal it, thanks for the lurk. Uh, dark for waterline, yeah, Alistair. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Well, dark for waterline, but if I also want to put an overhang up here, having a shadow down here will make a little bit more sense too. Although I think I want some of this to come up a little bit higher. Although that's messing with the shape of the river a little bit too. Yeah, I feel like this has to have a little bit more happening there. I guess I gotta shift some of this. Maybe this just needs to have more there. Might have to change that a little bit. Yeah, I think it'll start to take a little bit more shape when I start to replace the top bits here with the andesite. So I think here. This happens a lot. You get stuck falling places you don't want to because you can't hold shift on slabs. And so you start decorating with slabs and you start falling all over the place. So the nice thing about having it all sketched in, of course, is that you kind of have this blueprint that you can mess with as far as shapes go. And I try to avoid this, um, I call it like the Qbert effect, where you end up with um, different vertices connecting like this corner and that corner when you separate them it works a lot better makes it feel like a, a better different piece of stone do I have slabs for these? I do Right, almost like going in tiers. And 
this is where I might be able to work in some gravel. If I can press the right button. Kind of a nice transition between the andesite and the grass in some places. Again, breaking the Minecraft grid, making things look a little bit different. Completely missed this spot. We'll put these two in here. And then same thing with here, more of these vertices all connecting. So you can take this back and I won't use a stair. But if I do that, then I just have to replace these guys. So I've gotten used to this over time, but it ends up having a decent effect. I think obviously we've got two square of a corner there. So maybe here, we'll put a stair in instead. Looks a little bit too uniform. So maybe we can just extend that to here. Or I can just turn that around and give it like a double. Yeah, there we go. Looks more jagged. And we would come through with the moss and bushes and things and give the same sort of edge treatment that we did there. I think that will work out quite well. Throw in a few slabs. Maybe even a stair. So again, just kind of shaking off the Minecraft grid a little bit. One thing that I, I've not really gotten the hang of, uh, I don't remember what season it was of Hermitcraft, but Good Times with Scar did this really cool thing where he did like oversized rocks, like everything was like a two by two or a three by three, and it ended, ended up looking really good. I might try that in like the sci-fi area, maybe have like some sort of like crystalline structures or something like that. That would be kind of fun. I guess I could try that over here. I 
um giant causeways but for cubes yeah no you're right that's exactly the giant's causeway that's exactly what it looked like um i don't know if i could do it justice quickly but it was very stuff like that but then there would be another boulder that would be in this kind of a position right but then you had like So it would look it would sort of look like that everywhere but like imagine that over a huge area I think he did it to Mumbo's base Mumbo had like a giant sphere or something but Yeah it looked kind of like that But I think every step was like at least one and a half blocks if not two it must have been a real pain to make because it was um it looked like it would be really hard to jump up and down like to to climb and and work on Okay, this is where I gotta get a little bit more specific with what's going on. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. Now, I really don't know how to handle the top part of this. I don't know whether I want to have like the stone come up to here or if I want to have the grass come out and go over top. a lot more moss than that. Oops. So we'll see what this looks like. Hmm. I like the shadow that it gives, but we have to, I think, make that a steeper slope, which is fine. The good thing is that we've got lots of these hanging around. Pardon the pun. Once again, Cosmic, thank you for being awesome. That might be a message from earlier, but either way. Still true. Yeah, I don't know if I have the, the height to do an overhang over here. It might be better just to have it as a rock.
maybe the overhang could be um, foliage, like bush related. Sometimes just a small overhang of a single block uh, or having leaves going over the edge is, is enough to break up the solid top. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like just a little bit. And then we've got moss carpet to also add, well, I didn't bring it, but a little bit of a height change. It's a little softer, a little softer. And plus we can do things underneath the moss, uh, like some upside down stairs. I can get up here. This is the part of making cliffs I really don't like. All the weird traversal stuff. Like along here, get uh, into some upside down stairs. But it feels like an overhang, even though it's not quite. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is what I mean. And then you're like flapping in the water because elytra and water is broken. But I want elytra because I'm constantly bouncing back and forth to the other side. Yeah, I think these are going to have to come down. Yeah, I can only imagine how much of a pain in the butt it was to make that thing on Hermitcraft for Mumbo if the uh, you have to constantly be jumping up and down. Rough go. So I'm just pulling this in a bit to help make it feel like a little steeper. No idea if that's working. Cosmic Dancer. The awesomeness continues. Thank you. Yep, it's getting there. Obviously, we have to cut down those a bit, but it'll be interesting to go back to like the beginning of 
this section of the VOD and kind of see just like what it looked like before we started versus now. That and I guess we could change. Hmm. I guess it looks okay. I absolutely get fed up with the elytra issues when I'm doing this kind of stuff very very quickly I don't tend to do it at the beginning of streams I tend to wait until the end Once again, Cosmic swinging the ban hammer because people don't know how to people. I feel like I want the rock to kind of poke through somewhere. I wonder if here would be a good spot. Like, I don't have a plan for this. I am just making it up as I go along. I do find this kind of figure eight situation usually a good way to do rocks. Actually, that would be good probably with moss. There we go. I'm also trying to remember that this is going to be looked at from this side as well. Because of the road. Needs something. Maybe it just needs a little bit of andesite here. I didn't realize how good gravel and um, moss went together. Although I should mention, I've taken all the purple out of my gravel texture. That's pretty good. Hopefully it looks good from the side too. Does anybody wish that you had like a like a leap ability in Minecraft? Like one single rocket is way too much to cross this river. But I really feel like if there was like a dash and jump where you could like still glide with your elytra, I feel like I'd be I'd be down for that. So it's a little bit of a weird chunk there so maybe we'll remove 
some of this. Maybe this has to be more like a stair here. This is where I really wish we had mossy stone instead of just stone bricks and cobblestone. Yep. I think I just have to make this a little bit beefier here, the top. I guess then that just feels a little bit strange. Oh, there we go. That helps a little bit. And then maybe... Yeah. At least from that side. Uh, that reminds me, you mentioned posting your own texture pack on, on last stream. I don't have any plans to post my texture pack. I would post some of the textures that I have in the pack because my texture pack consists of, of textures from all kinds of other creators. And I don't remember who, and they sometimes distribute those via Patreon. So um, there's a, there's a, what I need to do with Patreon now that they've completely um made it more complicated than it ever needed to be uh i need to go through and create some like channels in the discord for like hey welcome in uh if you're looking for the minecraft textures then they're here you know um i need to make like a channel that has like membership perks and then have like links in there that that i just post and that people can go to the problem with that is that the um uh the way that discord posts stuff like that it's hard to keep it separate and organized it just ends up looking like a giant wall of text a lot of the time Uh, the dash ability from Vault Hunters. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I think I'm familiar with that. I think I know what you mean. This is where I wish we had vertical slabs. I think we're slowly making it look like it's got a tiny bit of an overhang. Uh, slab. That looks kind of funny. God, K 
can't jump up anything. That's why I agree with a lot of other people that Discord is not the solution for hosting information. It's a good site for replacing things like a good wiki. No, it's not a good site for replacing things like a wiki, no. It's good for communities. It's great for communication. I guess there's now a cave pig. I didn't I didn't realize that was there. So that's the kind of fun thing where it's just kind of here. But if we did create some sort of cool uh, inn here, like the Westo River Inn that had like part of this hillside all taken care of, we could have like a basement tunnel that went from that inn and popped you out out here. And what's cool about that is that this is a really large empty space. And so if you were walking along this area and I mean, maybe it's not exactly right there, but like this whole thing right here, like imagine if there was like, why is there a door there? Why is there a little stone door? And it would be like, you know, something that would lead into the inn, like that kind of stuff I just find really fun. Uh, we've done something similar with a drain over here. I feel like it's been raining forever. Uh, but yeah, over here, there's this little drain that you can look at, right? And all it is is just a drain from from the pond. This little pond right here. And it just drains under the road. But like, you know, just creates some interesting things to break up the landscape. So, you know what? Since I have stone with me, let's do it. Uh, sure. Just, just to say, Joel, remember to do this somewhere down the line. Ah, uh, monsters nearby. I never got used to the spider mechanic. I'm glad that spiders are not faster. So yeah, so just, you know, imagine if that was cleverly hidden and maybe not so big, right? But it just, the moment that you come down this way, you're just like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that's for. You know, maybe there's like a little staircase that goes up here. I feel like I've got, there's a lot of potential to this section, this whole area right here. And I'd like to make something interesting with it. But if we had that hidden, like that drain that I just showed you, then I think that that could be really interesting. Just an escape route for Robin Hood to fast disappear. Yeah, totally. Something like that would, would totally work, I think. All right. Well, I knew that this was going to be a, a chunk of work, so we'll have to continue this along next time. Uh, Cosmic, if you've got any ideas who we can raid, then I'd be happy to hear them. Um, we're going to pass you along to hopefully someone playing Minecraft so you can... Enjoy the rest of your Minecraft afternoon. Uh, I will be back on Thursday is my next scheduled stream. Uh, I have, however, been itching to get back into Satisfactory. So there's a chance I might put up an extra stream this week uh, with something um, from that game. So keep your eyes peeled on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post when I go live. Of course, if you're a member of the Discord, as we've been talking, then you get a chance to... Uh, get a heads up when I go live and any future plans like if I say hey folks I think I'm going to stream today at two o'clock or something 
uh, randomly, then you'll get a heads up in the in the Discord. Uh, and yes, Cosmic, that sounds like a fantastic way to go. Um, we will uh, be recording a new episode of the Spawn Chunks tomorrow. Uh, we'll be talking about the tough and copper blocks because both Pix and I have had a chance to play with those. Uh, we will also be recording a new episode of the Citadel Cafe this week with uh, myself and Stephen ESC. So that should be a good time. Uh, really happy with the way that this marsh came out. I like all of this. Uh, I think it's going a long way. Um, I don't know if I want to do more of this over here. I think I might have to come up with something different. There might be a much larger bush that comes down here just so it doesn't look like it's all the same. But uh, the cliff is coming along. Lots of good stuff here. Uh, if you've subscribed today, if you used bits today, thank you ever so much. I very much appreciate your support. And if you want to support in a different way, you can check out Patreon. That's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators. It is uh, less than one cup of coffee per month. You get access to my Discord. You get access to uh, the live recordings of the Citadel Cafe. And uh, you don't have to worry about renewing it. It just it automatically clips over every month. And uh, I truly appreciate it. You can also look into things like the uh, Infinity Cove server. Speaking of, that's where I'm sending you now. Uh, so uh, buckle up. You're going to be hanging out with uh, my friend Elkhorn, the mighty Elkhorn95. And uh, I'll see you all hopefully before Thursday, but if not, definitely Thursday. Back for some more Minecraft here on the Sigil. Bye for now.